A hidden gem tucked away in Germantown, the Golden Slipper celebrates local artists, home goods, candles, snacks, and so much more. Yes, I got to take a trip to find out why they consider themselves the neighborhood bodega. Oh. You definitely can't feel blue when you head to the Golden Slipper. It's a one-of-a-kind shop here in the heart of Germantown. And let me tell you, they have something for everyone. Let's take a look. The store is kind of um, in memory and honor of my, my late grandmother. Rewind to her younger years, her and my grandfather owned a bar in Ohio, and she was a performer. She wore golden slippers on stage. That was her tr signature trademark, and so that's why we named this store the Golden Slipper. Whether you're looking for balloons, hand-poured candles, natural body care, vintage-style barware, or more, you'll find it at this hidden gem. We kind of call ourselves a bodega. We're like a boutique mixed with a bodega because we have a whole like grocery gourmet food section, but we specialize in making all of our own hand poured soy wax candles and then kind of everything in between that you would need for a gift for anyone of any age, five to 85. And that's not an exaggeration. The Golden Slipper is packed with things you won't find at any other store. But fair warning, while you may arrive to buy a gift for someone else, you'll probably leave with something for yourself. So, oh, I love yeah. it. You had me a cheese and wine yes. and all this good stuff. But not to worry. Most of the items at the Golden Slipper are sourced from local, women-owned, or small businesses. So it's a win-win. I consider ourselves a little guy still, and so we're all just trying to find our place in this world. So I'm like, hey, if I can be a part of that for someone else, pretty cool. And whether you're on two or four legs, the experience will make you feel special something extremely important to Abby. We love to learn everyone's names and like, oh, and their dogs. We have so many dogs that come here. We usually learn the dogs' names first. <laughs> yep. And the dogs know where the treats are because we give them all treats. We have a mural right across the street from our door that says kindness is, and then you like kind of fill in the blank. So I want to be a part of like that kindness community and movement. That would be the legacy I'd really want to leave. Like even if I made no money, I just want people to be like, well, she was nice. <laughs> Well, she's very nice, <laughs> and right now there is an end-of-year holiday sale going on, so visit thegoldenslippernashville.com.